Hey guys, Jordan here from That Car Life, and I'm here with Twan. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're the owner of this beautiful NSX, and we are at My GT Garage's event at London Raceway. This NSX is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually my first Honda I've ever owned. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm really into exotic cars now, and uh, this is a 1993 model, oh, uh, Honda yeah. NSX Type R. The first Type R that ever graced uh, the, the Honda yeah. uh, company. You see, I actually didn't know that there was an NSX Type R. <laughs> <laughs> and I've come from Hondas before this. My first car was a DC2 Integra. Yeah. I had an EG Civic after that. I just learned right now that NSX made a Type R. <laughs> yeah, quite new to me too, the Type yeah. R experience. Didn't even know these were so profound as cars, but uh, yeah. yeah, now I've found out. <laughs> How long have you owned it for? I've had it for about 12 months, bought it in uh, late 2023, and sort of um, fettled with it through Top 1. Just trying to get steering and suspension back, a bit of PPF, but that's about it. It's pretty yeah. much uh, original. There's a lot of Top 1 cars here too, right? And Top 1's a Honda workshop, right? Correct. They're a workshop with mostly Japanese cars but they do a lot of Honda work. The owner Didi, he loves his Hondas. It's in good hands whenever I'm there. It's been PPF? Yeah, I did it through Roadblock. Ollie takes care of me at the, for the PPF work. Have you done any modifications to the exterior? None besides putting the layer of protection on it but otherwise it's just been looked after for a long time. The paint looks very consistent from when I bought it. And these wheels, are these factory wheels? Yeah, these are factory oh, yeah. wheels for the Honda NSX Type R. The original uh, NSX Type R in the way you see it now, I think it's a 15 inch front and a 16 inch rear. So it's a Staggered setup. It's got a very special finish on it. It's hard to see on a cloudy day like today. So it's a pearlescent white finish on the wheels. With the Type R, they also had carbon Kevlar Recaro seats. These are factory seats. <laughs> they're carbon Kevlar, so if you do open the door and have a look into them, you'll see they're carbon Kevlar backed. But it's yeah. what's even more unique is I don't believe there's any other manufacturer that I know put in um, Recaro seats at electric slide front and back. Yeah. It's actually electric sliding <laughs> Recaros, which are quite rare. Yeah. The only sliding that you have these days is up and down for um, height adjustment. So Quite Home. rare. Got Alcantara Dash for a 1993 car. Completely factory, red wow. stitched, lighter carpets, no power steering, Momo wheel. Can't believe this whole interior stock. Because when I saw the seats, I thought they were like aftermarket or something. Yeah, they're all completely factory. Door cards are also in Alcantara. Some signatures on the back here too. There's three signatures. Each of them is for the Honda NSX program. The other person is engine uh, program. And the other one, I think, was handling. Because the car was previously owned by a Japanese gentleman who based in Adelaide, he um, spent a bit of time time in Japan with the car when he bought it there before he personally imported it here so he yeah. spent a lot of time with the Honda NSX club and of That's course smart. the uh, manufacturer whoever worked at the factory also came down and they, they got signatures yeah there's a really uh, good video by Savage Geese on how the NSX was built and they actually interviewed all three people check that out if uh, any of one of your viewers get a chance and the engine bay in this is in the rear right correct it's a mid-engine car with a three lead engine I think it was about 280 horsepower which was the gentleman's agreement they had back in Japan very Honda like engine high nothing high revving it's not the loudest but Honda never was built for that it was all about refinement and uh, quality and craftsmanship you really do tell when you drive this car this yeah. is insane and very rare as well I think I don't think as many of these yeah, I believe there's 483 there. units uh, ever created built yeah. in this NSX Type R edition in the um, NA1 mm -hmm. which is a pop-up headlight and these are the pop-up original ones from uh, 1990 they made 483 units worldwide all of them were only ever sold in Japan in right-hand drive Americans I think very soon anyway will yeah. um, jump on to these um, because they're and start importing these yeah. over as well correct what other features did this have as a type R? there were a lot of lightweight things like power steering was removed air conditioning was removed there was aluminium shear panels front and rear i believe the brakes were retuned the whole car is actually all aluminium which makes it extremely light it's actually the first car ever to be built fully aluminium that's um oh, really? mass produced when you go into cars like today of you know McLaren, modern mclarens are all got alcantara interiors and whatnot but i couldn't believe like 30 years ago yeah, <laughs> they already produced in these type of cars that's phenomenal of course the most important part is um Ayrton Senna yeah. tuned this car with Honda because he he was racing with uh, McLaren Honda at that time and they got him to partner up to dial the car in through tuning and that suspension tuning so carries a lot of history for sure well, Twan, it was awesome to meet you man. cheers man appreciate it hey guys future Jordan here and guys I promise in this video I actually filmed an outro I did I remembered to film an outro but knowing my luck the mic wasn't working so it's up to future Jordan to do the outro once again as always but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video this was such a special car to film. As I said in the video, I had no idea Honda even made an 
NSX Type R. So being able to see one in person and learn about all those features and all the cool stuff about it was sick. And unfortunately, due to time constraints, we weren't able to go for a ride in the car around the track. But being able to see that car up close was a whole experience in itself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this car and learning about it as well. And yeah, big shout out to Twan for showing us around this car. An absolute legend. And big shout out to My JT Garage for having us down at their event at Ludnam Raceway. All the details for My JT Garage will be down in the description if you guys want to check out all their events that they run at Ludnam. They're absolute legends. I know this week's video was a bit of a quick one, guys. But yeah, what we got coming up, I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm sure you can see in the background of this video, you might get a bit of a sneak peek and a little bit of a hint as to what's coming very soon. We're working on something epic, a whole new series dropping on the channel. I haven't done anything like this before and I'm so excited to show you guys. It's dropping very, very soon. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Some awesome stuff coming and yeah, I appreciate all of you guys watching and supporting so far and along the way. It means the absolute world. But yeah, I'll leave it there guys. Stay tuned for more awesome content coming soon and I'll see you guys next time on That Car Life.